Welcome back. We have a really exciting topic today. This is one of the top trending topics. This is something that a lot of people want to know about. Let's talk exercise and what is stopping you. For decades, we have known the benefits of exercise. Countless studies have shown that regular physical activity can improve our overall health and our well being. Exercise has been linked to a reduced risk of chronic diseases such as diabetes, heart disease, certain types of cancer, and it can also improve mental health, which is a real challenge right now. It can boost our mood and it can enhance cognitive function. But despite all of these benefits, many of us struggle to make exercise a regular part of our lives. It's so easy to let it go, to let it slide. We find ourselves making excuses, we find ourselves procrastinating, or honestly, simply lacking the motivation to get up and move. So today we're going to talk about the top 10 things that stop us from exercising and how we can overcome them to create a healthy, active lifestyle. Number one, is lack of time. We feel like we don't have time. A lot of people, pe a lot of reasons that people don't exercise is that they simply don't have enough time. They feel like they're too busy. But the truth is, we all have the same 24 hours in a day. And it is up to us to make exercise a priority and schedule it into our day. Don't believe the lie that you don't have time. You have time. Other, there are a lot of other people who find the time. You can find the time. Number two is the lack of energy. A lot of us feel tired or exhausted. We've worked really hard all day. We're taking care of our family, but exercise can actually boost our energy. The research has proven this over and over again. Exercise will boost our energy levels and help us feel more alert, feel more awake. We will have more energy. So what's interesting is the things that we're not getting done because we're too tired. When we exercise, all of a sudden, those endorphins kick in and we're able to get a lot more done in the same amount of time. And all of a sudden we have the energy. Number three is fear of injury. A lot of people are worried that they're going to get hurt. They're worried that they're going to have weeks or months that they are out of commission because they get hurt when they're exercising. But really and truly, all you have to do is make sure that you're watching, you're aware of the risk factors, you're careful, and you make wise choices about your exercise. So many of the injuries are actually minor and can be prevented by using proper form and technique. Number four is a lack of motivation. Motivation can be a challenge. We all know what it's like to not feel motivated. So how do we move forward? How do we actually take action? Especially if you're not seeing immediate results. But we need to remember that exercise is a long-term investment in our health and the benefits will be cumulative over time. You'll start to feel better and better. You'll start to lose weight. You'll start to feel better because you're not carrying around that weight. And it is extremely important to make those wise decisions so that you know exactly where you stand with your outcomes. So you'll know exactly where you stand with your risk factors and your outcomes. Number five is feeling self-conscious. Some people feel self-conscious about exercising in public or in front of other people, but the truth is that everyone has to start somewhere and you need to get out of your comfort zone. Most people are too focused on their own workout to pay attention to anyone else. So they're not really watching you. They don't care what you're doing. They're working on their own. They're focused on theirs. They're worried if, pe they're worried if people are watching them. Number six is cost. Gym memberships, fancy equipment, it can all be expensive, but there are a lot of free or low cost ways to exercise. You do not need to join a gym. You do not need to pay money. You can walk, 
You can run outside, you can do body weight exercises at home, or you can join a community sports team that doesn't cost any money. So don't let the cost stop you. Number seven is weather. Bad weather can be a real barrier to exercise. It can be disheartening to think that you've got to go out and you think of excuses and why you aren't going to do it, but there are ways to work around it, such as finding indoor exercise options, invest in weather appropriate clothing, or simply embrace the elements and make the most of it. Number eight is lack of support. That can be one of the hardest things because it can feel lonely. It can feel like ah, it's just a risk. I don't know what to do. It's not worth it. And sometimes we need encouragement from other people to stick with our exercise program. When you join a fitness class, when you find a workout buddy, or you're seeking the guidance of a personal trainer, it can be so helpful. And depending on what kind of income you have, you can select one of those options and some of those are totally free. Number nine, boredom. We're just bored. Doing the same workout routine day after day can be so boring and it can lead to burnout. Mix things up by trying new activities or classes or setting new fitness goals to help things get interesting. Rotate it around and teach other people to do the same thing because people will get excited. They'll get on board because they see what's happening. Number 10, feeling overwhelmed. Starting a new exercise routine can feel so overwhelming. You feel like you're trying so hard. You feel like you're doing everything you can, but it's important to remember that every little bit counts. It doesn't matter if it's small, start small with short workouts or simple activities and gradually build up over time. And ultimately, the, honestly, the key to overcoming these barriers is to exercise. It's to focus on the long-term benefits, not just, oh, I want what I want right now. Look at the long-term benefits of health, of active lifestyle, ultimately, Overcoming these barriers to exercise is to focus on the long-term benefits of a healthy, active lifestyle. Our bodies are our most precious asset and taking care of them should be a top priority. So let's make a commitment to ourselves to prioritize exercise, even if it means making some sacrifice or stepping outside of our comfort zones. With consistency and determination, we can achieve our health and our fitness goals and enjoy all the benefits that come with an active lifestyle. So what I want you to remember is don't just think different, be different.